107 News. Time to coincide with the Tory party conference. <laughs> Manchester, a Sunday afternoon in late September, one of the biggest demonstrations yet against the cuts to the NHS in the form of privatisation and austerity in general. Over 50,000 were reported to have turned up to hear Owen Jones, amongst many, give an impassioned speech about the situation that we're all facing. God, if only we can have this live. The Tories, on the other hand, the cheek, the cheek of these Tories, this unelected Tory mafia, the hammers of working people, the demonisers of the poor, the persecutors of disabled people and the privatisers of our most treasured public services. The cheek of them invading this beloved city. Well, friends, friends, we have given them a very warm Mancunian welcome today. Now, friends, this city has a proud tradition, a proud history. This is the city of Peterloo. The city of the Chartists who fought for working people to have a voice. The city of the Pankhursts and other suffragettes of trade unionists who fought for workers' rights and dignity. Of those who fought sexism, racism and homophobia. Ordinary people who stood up against power, who stood against injustice, often airbrushed out of existence, demonised and persecuted in their time, but who fought with courage and determination. Friends, we stand today in that proud tradition. Now friends, friends, not only, not only did the Tories not win the last election, not only did they not win despite all the odds stacked in their favour, they did not even have the guts to put their privatisation of our NHS to us, the British people. And no wonder, no wonder, no surprise, as one of their own, Nigel Lawson, a Tory Chancellor Exchequer, once said, the NHS is the closest the English have to a religion. But this is a situation we face, private vultures circling overhead to cherry pick those services, the likes of Care UK, whose CEO gave Andrew Lansley, the privatiser in chief, £20,000 to run his private office. The shame, the shame of this government. But friends, friends, these people, these vultures, they don't run the NHS in the interests of patients, not in the interests of our communities, but the interests of these private profiteers looking for a quick buck at the expense of us, the taxpayer. Now friends, we got a cast iron guarantee today and earlier from Andy Burnham who's done a fantastic and courageous job in fighting privatisation. We've got one demand today, I'm going to be a bit mischievous now, a bit mischievous, just talk of him being shifted from his, from his brief away from health. So let's say loud and clear if Ed Miliband's listening, do not move Andy Burnham under any circumstances. <laughs> of legal loan sharks, of zero-hour contracts and of ever-falling living standards. They try to turn their anger from those at the top who cause this crisis to people's neighbours down the streets, unemployed people, public sector workers, immigrants, anyone but those responsible. So if we have one oath, one commitment today, it is this. We will never let the Tories divide us. Never, never, never. A part of the People's Assembly, a broad anti-austerity movement, bringing everyone together, private, public sector, Labour Party, Green Party, those with no political home, to take on austerity. On the 5th of November, we will hold a day of national civil disobedience and protest. <laughs>
just a wrap up. Friends, all the gains we have, all the rights, they weren't handed to us through the goodwill and generosity of those above. They were won through the struggle and sacrifice of those below. Yeah. It was our mothers. It was our mothers and our fathers, our grandmothers and our grandfathers and our ancestors before them who built this country. They built our welfare state. They won our workers' rights. They built the National Health Service. We stand on the shoulders of giants. And we owe it to our ancestors not to let everything they fought for with such <laughs> sacrifice be stripped away from us. We stand together. We fight together. We will hold this together. Time to coincide exactly with the Tory party conference. There were 50,000 or more people who listened to that speech just then in Whitworth Park, just south of Manchester city centre. 107 News.